Good evening, folks. This is Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project. We're bringing you an upheaval by John Casey Review in a five-part series. And this is the introductory uh, episode to our five-part series of the book, Upheaval. A book that every American and every citizen of planet Earth should read and heed, according to Dr. Rich Swire. And this has been written by John Casey with Dr. Dong Choi and Dr. Fumio Tsunoda and Dr. Ole Humlum, who are all members of the Earthquake and Volcano Prediction Center that they started recently in Orlando, Florida. We'll get to the book in a moment and we'll go over what the book contains and what this video series will point out to you. The video series will contain the points of view of the authors predominantly, which we just went over. But I will interject, because of my geologic background, I believe that I have the ability to interject in a way that will help us understand better what these guys are concluding. Now let's quick learn a, a little bit about John Casey. And this one point said climate change denier, I'm sure. But it says climate change author now. He's an American author. Liter literary works include Dark Winter, Cold Sun, he lives in Orlando, Florida, and unfortunately, John had suffered a major stroke on Friday, September 8th of 2017, and he'll spend the next year in intense physical therapy. He has, uh, he's doing excellent in his recovery, and let's send our thoughts, hopes, and prayers out to John Casey tonight for all the amazing work he's done. And I know what it feels like to be attacked. I've been attacked for decades by the activism I've been doing. Um, I've become numb to it because this information is far too important to be hidden from the masses. And according to Casey's bi biographical page, he has, over the course of 35 years, been a national space policy advisor for the United States of America, a field engineer, as well as a NASA consultant. His first book, Cold Sun, was published in 2011. His second book, Dark Winter, which is a refinement of Cold Sun, was published in 2014. And Casey's newest work, Upheaval, which we are going to be going over in this video series, was published on December 14th of 2016. His biographical page also makes note of his former role as a president of the Space and Science Research Corporation, which had shut down in August of 2015. He is also currently the acting CEO of the International Earthquake and Volcano Prediction Center, IEVPC, which we'll talk about later in the video. And you can go to at IEVPC.org. And you're looking at Mount Tambora there is very telling because this is what caused the temperature to drop during the Dalton minimum. Holla. And this group, the International Earthquake and Volcano Prediction Center, is predicting major earthquakes. In fact, this is a press release from just July of this year saying that major earthquakes were predicted months in advance. And they explain how they're doing it right down here in the press release. But let's talk about the book. Upheaval. And I'm going to start by giving an introduction in the own words of the authors on what this book is about and why these types of books are being written. Now, since 2007, the main focus had been dedicated in John Casey's work to telling his fellow citizens about the truth about what was happening with the climate. Research in that telling year led him to later write the book's Cold Sun and its remake, Dark Winter, in 2014, both of which contain the following position, which has never changed. The theory of man-made global warming and climate change based on human greenhouse gas emissions is the greatest international scientific fraud ever perpetrated on the world's citizens. The reason for restating this conclusion again and again throughout his career is that it forms one of the most important pillars of the subsequent research that links solar activity with the Earth's most destructive earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. I'll leave you links to this paper too. 
There's two papers here which completely destroy the greenhouse gas hypothesis. That's a heads up. So let me read that again. The reason for restating the conclusion again in this book and all of his others is that it forms one of the most important pillars of the subsequent research that links solar activity with the Earth's most destructive earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. One cannot continue to believe that man controls climate change and at the same time accept that the sun and major earthquakes are interconnected as proposed in the following videos. Now, this video series on upheaval is going to be about the threat of catastrophic earthquakes we, will, we are about to endure that are produced during periods of global cooling, not global warming. Now, guys, the catastrophic earthquakes that we are about to face occur when the sun goes into decades-long cold phases called solar hibernations, according to John Casey. They're also called grand minimums or solar grand minimums or grand solar minimums within the solar physics community, which is why I do the grand solar minimum update. Now, this discovery adds to the bitter crop-destroying cold that arrives with these hibernations. And in this video series, we're going to look at the most immediate threat, which is catastrophic earthquakes. Because if these come first, all of the other threats come after, starting with global unrest, famine, and on and on. So you're looking at the global seismic hazard map, and I'll leave it up here while I continue. If you didn't know, the next solar minimum has started. It began with the end of our current 11-year solar cycle, number 24. Now, the solar physics world began numbering the solar cycles starting in the mid-1700s, and we are facing yet another solar hibernation or grand solar minimum of a minimum of 30 years. Almost 200 years after the last such event, i.e. the Dalton minimum. Now this solar minimum, a pronounced solar hibernation, has already been named and it's been called the Eddy minimum by the solar physics community in honor of the late Dr. John Eddy, who was a pioneer in the study of these types of solar cycles. The next two 11-year cycles, 25 and 26, based on current scientific knowledge, including Zarkov and Zarkova and the heartbeat of the sun, will bring the next deep cold epoch upon the Earth. And with it, the most dangerous period of earthquakes our species has ever faced in modern history. It's understandable that many good people may still be remain shackled to the decades of global warming propaganda force fed to you by self-serving politicians, corrupt scientists, and the obliging media. But they have all misused a weak scientific theory, the greenhouse gas theory, as a convenient tool to achieve their nefarious political objectives. And for those people out there, there is proven advice, and it comes in the form of this channel and others. Hedge your bets. Take what you can and accept from this video series and other channels on YouTube like it, and make sure that you're not caught unprepared on the wrong side of Mother Nature's wrath. Prepare for the great upheaval. It will be coming. If for the first time ever in your life you use the past as the key to the future, please do so now. If you follow the recommendations in these videos, you will be able, better able to withstand any future disaster, be it financial, political, pathological, social, military, geophysical, any type of event that may come along. And wouldn't you rather be prepared than scared it's what we always say on this channel. <clears throat> now, there are plenty of warnings of rough times ahead. We've just had the most unique six months of weather ever. And we've been documenting it here, which is why we started a daily report. <clears throat> because once I noticed things going crazy, I said, now it's the time to start. Because it's not going to stop. 
Now, these warnings are coming from the science, economic, medical, military communities with causes completely unrelated to the sun's control over the earth. Now, do you know that? At the same time, one does not need to sign on to the host of unsubstantiated natural disaster claims like rogue planets, New World Order style of online conspiracies that are out there in order to recognize the future may not be so kind to us based on the weather patterns. I don't really believe the government is able to control the weather in the way that it has changed. Guys, think about it. So when we get to the final video on preparedness, this may be life-saving guidance. Without the need to change your ideology or opinion of how climate variations occur, you can still believe that we're all burning up to hell, but at least you'll be prepared when the true cold comes. Those that will be prepared, and by preparing years in advance like we're doing now, We're going to save thousands of lives, regardless of what the event is. Now, this video series is about why, how, and when these catastrophic earthquakes will strike. And most importantly, can anything be done to provide substantial advanced warning of these events so that we can be prepared, potentially saving millions of lives? Because proper preparation prevents piss poor performance in a catastrophe. And I can assure you that. Uh, so in the midst of John Casey's research, dating back to 2011, a group of seismology experts from the other side of the earth asked for help in pulling them together in an earthquake prediction research company. Their objective was to have an enduring effort towards solving the earthquake prediction riddle, along with the associated secondary question of when deadly volcanoes will strike. And in that new organization, the International Earthquake and Volcano Prediction Center, IEVPC, went into operation February 2012. And I leave you the website. You can read all about their good work and their most recent pre re press release on the major earthquake that they did predict recently. Here. Let's talk about the book in general. Great cover. The United States of America will likely be devastated by earthquakes within the next 20 years. That's the startling conclusion of the authors of this book. All of them leading experts in the geophysical effects of climate change. They make a strong case for the link between the sun's cycles of behavior with highly destructive earthquakes. The authors explain that when the sun goes into a reduced energy phase, it produces colder weather and the worst earthquakes ever seen. Their easy to understand charts and graphs clearly show that we face an imminent threat. And over the next several videos, we'll be showing those graphs and charts, breaking it down slowly so you can digest it, comprehend it, and share it with people that may not believe it. The authors also share the latest damage and loss of life assessments from the federal government, and they argue that we're not doing enough to confront the threat. The United States could face up to $600 billion in damages, and tens of thousands of people could, be, could die beginning in 2017, they warn. I believe that this, these events are going to begin either this winter or next winter as well, based on the cyclicity. We just had an earthquake in the Philippines at 5.0. So what are you guys going to get out of this video series? Real quick, I'm going to go over a small bullet list and then we'll end on this video as the introductory video to upheaval. One. The cold climate phase of the sun called solar minimums or their more intense version called solar hibernations or grand solar minimums are coincident with the worst earthquakes recorded. 
And in a solar minimum, the sun dramatically reduces the energy by which it keeps the earth and us warm. We measure, measure such things by sunspot trends and other proxies or parameters of the sun's activity. Typical radioisotopes extracted from the seabed, ice cores, and tree rings. And we'll correlate that all to cyclic events in the past. You're going to find that the coming grand solar minimums or global cooling periods are predictable based on this data with a high degree of reliability, as Zarkov Zarkova did in the heartbeat of the sun, and a list of some of the many other scientists predicting a new cold epoch will be discussed in the future videos. The current grand solar minimum has begun, and we are at the end of the first cycle, bringing with it catastrophic earthquakes that will soon strike the U.S. and the rest of the world, just as they did during the last grand solar minimum, called the Dalton Minimum. Guys, if you didn't know, the entire west coast of the United States was erupting during the last solar hibernation, as well as Indonesia and other areas in the Ring of Fire. It's a heads up. So what we're going to do is go over the initial science and the concepts involved in layman's terms for you guys so that you can understand the cosmic ray flux, the bubble muon hypothesis, why this is happening, what KP0 has to do with telepathy as well as volcanic eruptions, why does it trigger earthquakes. We will answer all these questions in this video series. We're going to examine each of the high-risk earthquake regions of the United States, using the same climate template with carbon-14 isotope data and sunspot trends as tools. And knowing that the next grand solar minimum is taking place, specifically this cycle, cycle 25 and 26, we will construct a likely timeline when the most damaging quakes will arrive. Each region will be reviewed and its risks of time frame charted out. We will start with New Madrid, followed by the West Coast, including Oregon, Washington, and California. Boom, boom, boom. We will establish the greatest threat to the United States, where the highest probability of multiple catastrophic geophysical events may occur, where the highly destructive earthquakes will be taking place within a decade or two of each other, as it has happened before during the last grand solar minimum. Boom. We will then provide in the final video recommendations for individuals, businesses, and the government on preparation for the coming geophysical nightmare. That's a heads up. Guys, that's the introduction to the upheaval series. I hope it got you juiced up for what's going to happen. We're going to dive into the chapters starting tomorrow. And we're going to be going over the global threat of seismic hazards and volcanic eruptions and where you can be preparing for the most catastrophic events in the coming decades. This is based on the work of John Casey et al. and the members of the International Earthquake and Volcano Prediction Center, which as John Casey recovers is still up and running, I believe. God bless those folks and all the good work they're doing. If you haven't purchased the book, just come over to Amazon, put in Upheaval John, John Casey, and you'll get links to Dark Winter. You'll get links to Ben Davidson's book, The Weatherman's Guide to the Sun, as well as Upheaval. You can get a used copy for as little as 23 bucks. That's a heads up. It's a no-brainer. It's the best $23 you'll ever spend. It'll help John Casey's recovery. I'm sure they have medical bills. Be safe out there.